Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. So at the bottom of the deck here, we have victory and success. I've been getting so many sixes lately. Are you guys saying like six, six, six? Some of you also, um, and I keep saying this, like something about the year 2022, some of you could be finally closing out like a major cycle of a situation that could have started um, in 2022. Or, um, yeah, you could have met someone or gone through something life-changing in, like, 2022 for some of you. Not everyone. Victory and success. You have memories of love. Well, this is the Six of Cups. And then the Ace of Cups here. The Three of Pentacles. Patience and planning, and then the four of wands. Awareness, which is the like the magician card, and then the base chakra here. Choose wisely. You're being told right now to choose wisely and moving forward right now when it comes to you following your heart to do something, going towards your destiny. You have two eights here, so things are doubling up, okay? Um... And then the Wheel of Fortune here, another six. Yeah, you definitely need to be very mindful at this time of how you choose to move forward. Something here, um, number eight, power, that's strength. You're, you're being, how do I say, like, tested, initiated. Um, the balance card is here. Your feminine and masculine energy is being balanced out. You're being tempered in some type of way. Yeah, for sure. The waiting game, the two of wands. Something is coming in. So I feel just right away before even pulling cards, be very mindful right now of gimmicks, scams, um, falling victim to like the shiny object syndrome. Make sure that you understand that Everything that glitters is not gold. Um, don't be too quick to judge or misjudge any person, place, thing, or situation. Because there's definitely something that is going to happen here that can bring you a lot of success. But I don't think that it's going to be presented to you in the way that perhaps you are thinking that it will. Um, or that it should be. Your your victory and success for most of you is going to lie outside of your comfort zone. It's, it's, it's not going to be where you are. And if you know anything about healing, you can't heal in the same place that broke you. Um, when it comes to forgiveness, forgiveness is for you, but you have to understand Especially like in your personal relationships, you should absolutely forgive people. But when it comes to you continuing partnerships and relationships or even friendships, if you know that there is a situation here for some of you where you can forgive, but the constant reminder, because you really nobody, you, you can never forget something, especially something that was wrong. Um, if it's going to cause you so much turmoil, you really need to find the strength to leave it behind. And I've said this many times, you're going to find your light from a burning bridge. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's a bridge here that you have to burn in order for you to go into a new phase of life. You already know whatever this is for you, whether it's a job situation, a relationship, friend, family member, you cannot and you will not get over whatever was up. So somebody has burned a bridge with you, possibly. This feels like somebody has burned a bridge with you and you're still sort of trying to keep the peace or mend this situation or, or figure out how to regenerate something. 
And what you need to do is you need to just let the, you need to now burn the bridge. Some of you is something that it can no longer have access to your life. Because if you allow this to come in, just the mere presence of this energy is going to block your success. So this almost feels like for some, it's a warning that you have something or someone, there's an energy that's going to try to present itself as if it is good, it is helpful, it is pure, it's righteous, it's holy, when in actuality it's not. This is a test of your own discernment, though. There's a trickster energy here. I can feel it. I haven't even pulled the cards, but I, I can just, I can feel it. 100%. Somebody is definitely ready to spin the block and present themselves to you because obviously this victory and success is like something, somebody they can smell it on you. Yeah, somebody wants to try to like energetically shape shift, hoping to gain, like hoping to get in your good grace. Because people want to be in your good grace. They're hope because they're hoping that you will be gracious and merciful with them. They also want you to be generous. Overall energy, victory, and success. Wow. <laughs> Firm foundation. And then you have your sacrifice. You have... To, what did I just say? What did I just say about this burning bridge? In order for you to have a firm foundation, you have to make a sacrifice, which means that you're going to have to change your perspective about something here. There is something in your life that it's probably very difficult for you to sacrifice. This is the second time that I've seen 4 and 12 come out together. So I don't know if December 4th was of significance or if April 12th is of significance. Capricorn season, um, a Capricorn person, or even, I think this is like Taurus, could be of significance to you. A lot of earth energy with the firm foundation though. This is right now, you're planning. You're planning something. You're pursuing something. You need to keep your plans close to your chest because like I said, someone can smell victory and success on you. They know it's coming. Crown chakra and then the nine of cups. Somebody is very clear and, and you're very clear right now about what's going to bring you wish fulfillment and happiness because you've been patiently working on doing something perhaps in solitude with the emperor energy here. You're taking charge in your business, with your career, your finances, your family. You right now are working on being a person that's fully in your power, creating, like I said, security and stability, creating a name for yourself or whatever the case may be. And somebody can already see with the universe card here. Yeah, there's a cycle here that's over. That's the world card. There's a cycle here that's over. So you could have met someone or like I said, something for some of you could have started back in like 2022. It could have even been before that. What I'm getting for some of you is this situation has been happening longer than 2022. You've been repeating a cycle for quite some time of maybe people pleasing um, kind of forgiving people and trying to let go, letting people come back into your life. But I feel like something for some of you, maybe around 2022, possibly, you've been still struggling to fully let go of something. It feels like you made a decision to disconnect from something, but not fully. There's still been some kind of string or cord of attachment to a situation But that 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 cord being there, that exchange of energy, it has enough power to make your foundation crumble. What it really is is a mindset. It's a mindset that you have to make peace with people that 
bring you hell. <laughs> you don't you don't have to go out of your way to make peace with anybody. Something is wrapping up here. It, it's it's time for there to be a completion because spirit is saying you're spiritually strong now. Because what I was getting is before some some people, and, and I I deal with this myself. Um, you have to learn when you're too fragile to deal with certain situations. Fragile doesn't mean weak, okay? But even a very very spiritually strong person, there are some situations you're. You're just too fragile. Sometimes, uh, you know, dealing with friends or family or lovers, you care about them. It's difficult for you to say no. It's difficult for you to stay away. But what Spirit is saying is that at this point, <laughs> you're going to constantly be dealing with conflict and being defeated if you don't say no. And this is possibly blocking your material harvest. Yep. Two of Wands. You have to make a decision to get away from this toxic person, place, this environment, this situation, mindset, or all of the above with the solar plexus being here. This is your life force energy. It's your willpower. Do you have the willpower to leave something behind and let it stay behind? You, th this is, a, this is a, a burning bridge that somebody keeps trying to cross. You keep, it's like, you're like, well, as long as I have the extinguisher, I can go. No, Spirit is saying you cannot go back here. You're transforming so that you can go towards Eight of Wands, fast moving energy into a brand new beginning here that brings you equal give and take, wish fulfillment, prosperity, and abundance. But you're going to have to, I'm telling you, it's an awakening here. Throat chakra, third eye. You're going to have to speak up and speak out about what you know to be true. Whether you see it or other people see it or not, you have an inner knowing and an awareness about something that you need to now act on. You know that friend, that family member, their job, you know it's just something about it that's not right. It's not aligned with you. Stop second guessing yourself and burn the bridge. Let it go. Some of you are still looking for clarity or confirmation. You have enough clarity. You've gotten enough confirmations. It's something here, to be honest, you don't want to accept. That it is what it is. But if you would take some time out to rest and rejuvenate, that's where your this mental clarity, the victory and success, it, you have to have peace and mental clarity in order to have victory and success. And you will have a victory. You will receive re rewards and recognition in a connection. For some of you out here trapped in fear, for some, this could have to do with the spiritual union card being here. Some of you, there's a relationship here. Y you're still not accepting that you love someone, you care about somebody. You could even be in love with somebody. Or this is someone, someone's feelings towards you. Someone is still stuck in a mindset of, I think I want to be single or maybe I should be with this person from my past or whatever. It, it's, it's a mental blockage here. And somebody is going to have to take some time to recognize, like, no, <laughs> this, this, this new person, place, thing, situation, job is your answer prayer. You don't have to keep second guessing it. And the burning bridge doesn't always mean that somebody's trying to go back to someone from the past. It's, again, it could be fear. You're going to have to burn the bridge of fear and stop being afraid of stepping into something new. Somebody is seeing love. Like, they're seeing it, but they're not, they don't want to believe it. Because, honestly, this feels like someone is too fragile. Someone is like, I can't, I can't make it through another heartbreak. I can't experience another setback. So now somebody is ignoring the fact that the answer prayer has shown up. And you know what happens when you become uncertain. The devil's going to come in and really, really tempt you to make sure that you make the wrong decision. 
So somebody now is questioning, is this love? Is this real? Can I depend on this? And the devil is going to come in with something that seems very appeasing and appealing to you that's false to trick you. That's all I've been getting today is like trickster energy. It's like the second or third reading. It's the same thing. Somebody is being tempted. And you're going to have to know what you see and say no. So this could, for some, this could be like an ex coming back. And it's like, you already know. You've been there. You've done that. I always say it's like, you've been there. You've done that. You went to the, to the festival. You got the bumper stickers, the water bottle. You signed up for the email list. Like you are, you already know everything to expect about this. So why would you go back? Whoever or whatever this is coming in saying that it's changed. People can absolutely change. But for some of you, you need to be careful because you have fear about something from the past. And you also have fear about something that's happening currently or coming. Yeah, look at that. Eight of swords, two of swords. Somebody is just stuck in limbo right now. They don't, they don't know what to think. I mean, there is hope here. But once again, here you have two fives. Everything is doubling up here. There's a mirroring effect here. Could be a third party situation. Could be something dealing with soulmates, twin flames, but somebody needs to really go to God and connect with their higher self because your wish fulfillment is here or is coming in. But this mental and entrapment and this fear is actually blocking the chariot is blocking you from forward movement. Yeah, look, the light, the star. <laughs> Number two, intuition, high priestess energy. Five of Pentacles, three of swords, and the ace of Pentacles. Somebody out here is afraid of their security, their stability. They're afraid they don't have enough. They're afraid their heart's going to be broken. Th this is just all fear. It's, it's, it's fear of, like somebody is, a, is afraid of their own shadow. It's the truth. The truth is it's time for somebody to move on or somebody is going to lose a person. Someone is going to move on because someone's fear is constantly putting them in a position to procrastinate and to delay what seems to be the inevitable Like somebody needs to stand up for themselves. Sacral chakra, strength card, deception and envy. Fertility, suffering and silence. Somebody out here is like madly in love and is just standing there looking at the person like, I don't know if this is real. And to be honest, like if somebody doesn't stand up for themselves and begin to communicate and see this for what it is, you have the balance card here, temperance energy. What I say, somebody's stuck in their shadow. They're going to lose a person. Scorpio energy, 11, 18, November 18th could be significant to someone. Somebody's going to have to balance their feminine and masculine energies. Somebody has, there's some inner child healing or something that has to be done. Yeah. Or somebody has to finally overcome whatever these childhood or past issues are in order for love to begin. I feel like somebody is fighting through this though. That's what it feels like. It feels like somebody is trying. They're just terrified. <laughs> They're terrified to do the work. Look at this at the bottom of this other day. Ace of Swords and the Lovers. It's true love here. Once again, the number six. It's true love. 
Somebody could have met a person in 2022 if this is related to love. Someone could have met someone in 2022 and it's just sort of like, okay, so what are you doing? Because this feels like somebody's like, so are we getting married? Like, what, what's what's happening next? Because the high priestess, someone has been extremely wise, patient, controlled, um, resilient, intuitive. The Ace of Swords, it's like someone is like, okay, I've made adjustments because I know this is true love, but the other person is still very afraid. Something has this other person very fearful of taking like a leap of faith. I don't know if someone is just afraid of getting their heart broken. And that could be the reason why someone is afraid of like committing. Someone could have financial issues. I saw the Five of Pentacles. Somebody really has a fear of failure. Queen of Wands and the Balance card. The Balance card keeps coming out. Y'all have a person out here, especially if you're a divine feminine. There's someone that is, they're doing everything to try to fight their feelings for you. They see you as very like sexy, secure, abundant, ambitious. You're assertive, the Queen of Wands here. Very determined, like powerful. They love that, but this person, they're trying to do everything in moderation and be controlled because it's like this person there, they're trying very hard not to fall madly in love with you, but they're not even recognizing that they're already in love. You know, ego. Told you. <laughs> this person is in their ego, possibly because of some kind of past heartbreak or regret. Five of Cups is here. So somebody feels like they need to protect themselves right now. Once again, doubles, eight, eight. Again, six, six, eight, eight, five, five. Here's five, 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 I just noticed. Four, four, eight, eight, oh, four, four, four. So you're protected. There's a lot here about abundance. Somebody may be very afraid that either someone is afraid that they don't have enough when it comes to their financial security and abundance for a certain level of commitment or someone is wealthy and they're afraid to combine their finances with somebody. It could be both. Somebody could have had a lot of money at some point in a past relationship and they, they suffer like a major financial loss. Now they're afraid to combine like their life and their finances with somebody else. That could be somebody's situation. Definitely could be someone out here that's like, you know, has gone through a nasty divorce or something like that. But somebody is becoming very disappointed. Somebody is starting to feel like holding on to something is a waste of time. Because it's not, it's not taking off like it's eight of wands. There, there's, it's like there's no movement, there's no action, there is no passion, there is love, but there is no action. Four swords, yeah. <laughs> because whoever you are connecting to, either this is you or your person, they right now are recovering from something. 12-4 again, December 4th. Here's 12-4 and here's 12-4. Or 4-12. Somebody is recovering. Page of Pentacles, they're trying to learn something new or do something new. And they feel like once they learn something new when they become more prepared for life or certain relationships, then they can become the Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Then, like this person, they're trying to get their confidence up to come towards you with an offer because they know that you're very, very strong. You're spiritually strong as well. So this person, Seven of Swords, like they have, they're being cautious in how they approach you because they know that you are 
the Hierophant. You are a person of wise counsel. So this person with the wise counsel, Hierophant, High Priestess, somebody knows how intuitive, how wise, how secure, stable, resilient you are. Like they, this person, they have a lot of love and respect for you. They don't want to mess this up. Yep, there you have it. The Empress and the Fool. You're it. So it's like somebody is saying that they choose you, but they're being very mindful, very cautious in how they approach you. Because they don't want to approach you and you leave them out in the cold. This person, the Knight of Pentacles is here and the Five of Pentacles. This person could be someone they feel like they cannot approach you. If, if they are experiencing some kind of lack or worry in their life, they feel like when they come to you, they need to be like generous and abundant with their time, their their finances, their energy. They, they Honestly, this person is trying to come towards you in the right energy, to be perfectly honest with you. Nine of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. This person wants to make sure that they don't come towards you empty-handed. So they're tying up loose ends, ten of wands trying to drop anything in their life that's blocking them, but the sign and the four of wands. They they're thinking and manifesting wish fulfillment, love, connection, marriage, security, stability. Like they they want all of that. But this person feels like three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. They need to be very stable, secure, independent. They need to finalize things from a, a past situation or relationship. Somebody is working on their foundation, okay? I don't know what this person went through or what they lost, but they feel right now that they need to work on their foundation because when they come towards you, they want to have a partnership. They know that they know that you make them happy. They know they can have a family with you. They know they love you. But what they're focused on right now is the Three of Pentacles. They're focused on business, like networking, collaboration, teamwork, um, receiving rewards and recognition for what that Ten of Swords and the Hermit. Yeah, this person, I'm telling you, this person, they're recovering. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Six Six. They need to release baggage and get a sense of peace. And they're working on like their self-esteem as well because they already see clearly that they want a passionate beginning with you. They, they want to take action towards you. Yeah. Page of Swords, they've already analyzed the situation, justice made a decision that you're their Ten of Pentacles. They like this person wants to be with you. They want to grow old with you and everything. You may be confused by this one with the moon here because of the way they're moving. But this is someone, the king of swords, queen of swords. <laughs> this person is taking an extremely logical and analytical approach to this. They're not coming towards you in a cup energy. So you're looking for the passion and the emotions. They're not coming towards you with action and emotions. They're coming towards you right now with, with, with logic and fairness. This person feels like if they cannot be everything to them, to I'm sorry, to you that they feel you can be to them, they're not going to approach you until they can. I'm sure they, they are, they'll approach you, but I'm saying... To be honest, this is the kind of person that's like, it's kind of sad, but this person knows that they, they may have to let you go. They're willing to let you go too. Like this, this, this person, they're not a bad, but this is a, a very positive energy. This is a situation that requires you to just surrender control. I don't know if you'll end up with this person or not, because you may not want to wait on them at all. The hermit. Some of you, you've been waiting or you've been in a relationship. I don't know if you're in a relationship with this person and you're looking for marriage or 
you know, it's something that's sort of casual and you're looking for a commitment. This person, the, the truth is, is that they are committed to you. But, um, <laughs> it's like this person is committed to you, but they're not saying it because it's like, well, I don't want, they don't want to jinx it or they don't want to let, honestly, they don't want to let you down. And with the Hierophant and the High Priestess, I feel like you embody both of those energies. This person, they have a lot of respect for you. Like, a lot. They do not want to let you down in any way. And they don't want you to see them in, a, like, any type of negative way at all. It's just something that's happening in this person's life right now. Honestly, we're, um, I said they're recovering. They're recovering and they want to try to redeem themselves with you. You have King of Pentacles. Four Swords. Like, <laughs> they're taking time out. They're overwhelmed by something that has happened in their life prior to them meeting you or if you're with this person right now, there's someone who did, you know, experienced something with family problems, health issues, financial issues, whatever, and they're just like, yo, I just need a break. What's the outcome here? Page of Wands. Here's the Six of Wands. Something's going to shift. The passion is going to come back. The passion comes in when this person feels successful. Page of Cups. Yeah. It's a romantic offer. But this person is doing some inner child healing and work as well. They admire you for sure. But there's been loss. Financial loss, family loss, something. Like this person has been struggling. Queen of Swords. And they know that you can see clearly through any type of BS, seven of swords. This person knows that they cannot trick you. They cannot deceive you. The four of wands here, ten of swords, ace of pentacles, nine of swords, and then the star. Hangman in reverse. For some of you, this is a person who was married before or in a very long-term committed relationship. They got stabbed in the back or they stabbed somebody in the back. They hit complete rock bottom. They currently are trying to rebuild this person. Their stability and security has taken a major hit from a situation that they were in before you. And they're having stress, fear, and anxiety and sleepless nights because they see you as a star. They see you as wish fulfillment. But you probably met this person at the beginning of like a, a spiritual awakening or at the tail end of a karmic cycle that they were in. The hangman in the reverse. This person, they're waking up. Yeah, King of Swords and the Hierophant. So here you have it in a totally different deck. The Hierophant and the High Priestess came out together. This connection is protected. Archangel Michael is protecting this connection. Nine of Cups. Yeah. This is wish fulfillment. For a lot of you, you and this person will come together, but you met your twin flame or your soulmate. Yeah, look at that. The Hermit and the Empress. And like I said, the tail end of a spiritual awakening, Six of Pentacles, they want to have equal give and take with you. This person wants to be generous. They want to share wealth and abundance. Like they want to take care of you because they see you as the empress. They see you as, like this person feels like they, they are happy that you share the energy with them. You share wisdom with this person. Whoever this is, they feel so lucky because of the wisdom that you share with them. 
you share wisdom with them as a hierophant or a high priestess, divine feminine, they see you as a person now that, that they want to share their life with. But they're they're a, they're um they're being inspired right now to clean their life up and to tie up all their loose ends. Like this person wants to make sure that they have a, a totally clean slate with you. Three of Swords. Either you or this person or both of you met each other. Yeah, Three of Swords. It has taken this person a long time to get past some type of betrayal, breakup. So when it comes to offers, okay. Um, <laughs> divine, the divine feminine here. This is you. This three of swords, four of cups. That's your energy. You're 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 ready now to give up on this person or this offer. Because you too have experienced some type of heartbreak. You feeling like you're waiting on this person because of the type of, this type of patience makes you feel like you're being rejected. And it's triggering your emotional pain from past situations. But I'm going to say this. If you choose the Six of Swords here to move on from this situation, for some of you, not all of you, if you choose to move on from this situation, of course, you can manifest something new, someone new. If you take a leap of faith out into the unknown, the problem here is that and you could have already tried to do this. You end up in the Nine of Wands. It's an ongoing battle here because it's not really about this person or this situation. It's about a lack of faith and patience. If you leave this situation that you've already invested in, because let's be honest, you're not getting your way. And I think I said that at the beginning, something is coming towards you, but not in the way that you thought it would or how you envision it in your mind. If you're quick to move on and leave this situation behind where someone is actually investing in you and committed, but your circumstances and conditions are not that great. What you're going to do is find yourself being wounded, guarded, and experiencing yet another setback. This person, Ten of Pentacles, the Cherry, the Strength, and the Three of Cups, with strength, courage, and some patience, you and this person can go towards the Ten of Pentacles. Creating your own windfall of abundance, a, a new business, generational wealth, marriage, commitment, or whatever. But there's just conflict right now. That here you have it, 8-8. Eight, eight. Everything's doubling up. Eight of Pentacles. This conflict, whatever this um, struggle, this challenge is, it requires hard work, but this hard work that you will put into this situation, it's preparing you for what is to come with this particular person. The lovers, the three of wands, and the sun. This is something that you should fight for. Three because what's coming is happiness, growth, expansion. You really having this person's undivided attention, their full support, devotion, the 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 love, the passion. There's just there's a there's um there's an issue, there's an obstacle, there's a challenge here, but this is something the, the challenge is temporary. That's temporary. The, the, the trouble won't last forever. Queen of Cups. You're going to have to be very mature about this situation. 
Page of Pentacles when it comes to creating a solid new beginning for yourself because someone is learning something that's going to bring them victory and success. Some of you could be dealing with a person right now. They could be like starting a business or something and you're just like, oh my goodness, like you don't, you don't want to make time for this. Three of Pentacles, yeah. Whatever this is that somebody is doing though, that they're learning or that they're doing to grow or expand, it's going to bring them a lot of victory and success or this is you. So you need to put an end to this devil energy, this ego, this fear, obsessing over the outcome in this situation. Some of you, you're, you're thinking that this person is trying to juggle you. This person is juggling life. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. This person, they're not trying to cheat or lie or juggle. You're their Ten of Cups. They know that. I feel like you know that too. It's just, this isn't moving fast enough for you. Some good things come to those who wait, though. Patience is a virtue. Because for some of you, <laughs> and we've all, you know, we're all adults here. We've all had our own cycles. Well, a lot of people, when it comes to people settling down, it's really about the timing. You got to ask yourself, and I'm, I'm talking for sure to a lot of my, my ladies watching, this, mostly who's here. How many times have you been really quick to give? And I'm not talking about a person that is taking advantage of you, they're lying, cheating. But how many times have you given up on the good guy who, you know, you knew would finish last? And as soon as after you've put the, the time and effort into pouring into that person or your connection, because you just, you broke right before the breakthrough. Well, guess what? Six months after you're out of the picture, you're heartbroken and they're moving on now to give somebody the, the world. And I mean, it happens all the time, but you have to ask yourself, had you just had a little bit more patience? Again, I'm not talking about a situation where someone is not invested in you. They're hurting you or taking advantage of you. I'm saying when things get rough, can you, can you stand the running? Because if you actually want to be married to somebody or in a very long-term committed relationship when you have a business or children or whatever with someone, you're going to have hardships. Some of you right now, you don't recognize it, but you're being prepared for marriage and a, like a lifetime commitment to another person. If you're going to do life with somebody and, and have family and family business and everything else, you have to understand... Sometimes, look, come to two of cups. It's true partnership. That's your lover. That's your friend. That's your homie. That's your business partner. You can't just pull out because it's not the way that you want. Eight of Pentacles. You have to put the work in. Some of you, though, because you're fragile from from past situations. When it gets tough, the first thing you think is you're being schemed, you're being scammed, you're being lied to, deceived, and portrayed. That's not always the case. Sometimes a person really is just working. Like, seriously, we're all adults here. Everybody's like, no, they're not working. They're lying. They're cheating. This, no, sometimes people really are trying to be better. They really are working. They are really are in hermit mode, trying to learn something, trying to grow, trying to heal, trying to evolve. So that they can actually be better for themselves, which makes them better for you. There is a passion and new beginning coming here. And instead of you being too caught on the attachment to the outcome, find something yourself to be passionate in or passionate about. Because it seems like you're dealing with the person, they're learning something. But you're being taught something at the same time where you're watching them learn or vice versa. You're learning something. They're being taught something by watching your journey. You're teaching each other something that's going to be useful in an actual partnership. The car popped out. Surrender frustration. You need to surrender your frustration. It says frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so that you may approach the situation more calmly. You're frustrated. 
because of the timing and the fact that you can't control the situation right now. Surrender to pray, prayer. Pray about it. This isn't as bad as you think it is. I feel like somebody here is trying to find something in their life that they're deeply passionate about. You want a person to be happy. Yeah, surrender to non-action. Don't go crazy about this situation right now. Allow it to unfold naturally. Wow. <laughs> and surrender to divine time. I'm so done. <laughs> surrender frustration. Surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. I feel like right now I'm about to stop somebody from going to break up with like the love of their life. <laughs> Or just walking out of their job. Like somebody here, you're just fed up. And you're needing to woosah, like regroup, rest, retreat. Someone here is surrendering to passion and their full power. And also, you know, I don't know if this is you, which end of this situation you're, 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 you're on. But someone also is letting go of people pleasing. Like I said, for some of you, if you're dealing with the person that's going through this, they're not willing to just give you what you want because if they give you what you want, that's going to stop them from stepping into their full power. And in order for them to have the love, the passion, the commitment and everything that you want, they have to be in their full power. So for some of you, the truth is you're asking for a divine feminine or masculine, but you're pissed off right now because they're not choosing to be distorted for you. Mm. Yeah, I just I just told you. Because it's the truth. Don't ask for a divine feminine or masculine and then when they surrender to their full power and they stop people pleasing, you want them to still please you. It that means that they have to give up their life calling and their power. You better find you somebody that knows their purpose and knows God before they pour everything into you because if they don't know God and their purpose according to God, they're not going to be any good for you. You're going to go right back to like we saw before. You're going to move forward. You're going to take a leap of faith. And then you're going to be stuck somewhere in the nine of wands in this ongoing battle of being worried in fear and dealing with anxiety and saying, oh, I'm going through another spiritual test. This doesn't have to be anything bad unless you make it bad. This is simply a time for you to learn about patience and letting go of control. You cannot control this situation because what it, what it, what's really happening is someone here is trying to control another person's life. Just because you feel like your life is with this person doesn't mean that you can control them. You can't control their everything about their destiny. You're a part of their destiny, but you're not their destiny. Let me say that again. You are a part of their destiny. They are a part of your destiny, but you are not their destiny. They are not your destiny. Understand that. Don't be toxic and codependent. Someone is stepping into their full power and they're becoming passionate about it. They're not taking any drama, any BS. They're, they're not playing it small anymore. And that's, that's beautiful, especially if this is a masculine. You don't want the masculine that's letting their mom or, or their ex-wife, girlfriend control their life. That means that they have to be in their power and have control some dignity and, and honor for themselves if they're going to do that's the same thing for a divine feminine. So if you're a divine feminine, I'm here to tell you, some of you, you have a good person here. But you're already, well, I'm not getting this and I'm not doing this and I know they're not working late. Yes, they are. A person who's not good for themselves, they're no good for you. So surrender to non-action don't be too quick to, to jump off on the deep end in this situation. Just surrender to divine timing. Divine timing is not the same as your ego's timing. You're saying, well, you know, we've we've been dating this long. Blah, blah, blah. It should be like this. Says who? Says you. <laughs> Things that are sent from God, for sure. You can trust that the timing is definitely going to be in God's timing and not yours. But if you want to go and choose your own person again <laughs> because you wanted to move at your pace, 
when that crashes and burns, you're going to remember this person or they're going to remember you. So surrender to complete healing. Because when you surrender to complete healing, you're not rushing anything. You don't feel the need to control things. You're not attached to the outcome. You actually have faith and patience. Surrender resentments. Don't become resentful. Or well, feel as though you always have to be right. <laughs> you don't have to do that. This situation is going to unfold in a very beautiful way for you if you simply allow it to. Okay, so I'm going to pull. Um, let's pull a love message. Oh, you know what? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Priority family provider. Make the effort. I'm telling you. <laughs> Cut into that finances. Somebody's trying to get their money together. Extroverted. These cards, y'all saw these two cards just fail. Somebody needs to talk. Or somebody right now, they're asserting themselves in their personal life. They're going out. In their work, their job, their business, they're beginning to stand up for themselves and step into their power. They're speaking up for themselves. They're they're owning meetings. They're owning plans and projects. Why? But this person is actually very much inspired right now because they see you as a life partner. They're like, wow, I need to really get this together. Let me go out here and get this money. I'm about to be someone's life partner. Let me get my life together. It doesn't have to be so toxic and doom and gloom all the time. Everybody is not here to hurt you and to lie to you. Pay attention to the signs. Uh -oh. This card that just fell in my lap, though, it says toxicity, negative energy, manipulation, a narcissist. Touchy affection, forehead kisses, and open door. There's a card in here that flipped over. Romance, wine and dine, getting to know each other. I feel like for some of you, this is a different energy, and then you have here rejection. Remember, I said earlier in the reading, for some of you, you need to pay attention that everything that glitters isn't gold. I'm literally seeing the um, movie in my head right now, if you've ever seen it, with Sanai Lathan. And I don't know the other guy's name, but she she was, um, she may have been an attorney or an investor. She was so uptight. She came from a wealthy family. She fell in love with her gardener. Well, he, he was a, a landscape architect. Like, he did major jobs, but he had pretty much like left the corporate world himself. But when she met him, like he was just a dog lover, old beat up truck. <laughs> you know? They were from two different walks of life and they were an interracial relationship. And she felt like they were too different. So she separated from him and she went to be with someone who was also up for partner in his company. I think he was an attorney. I think she was like an, an investor or something, and he was an attorney. And you know, he, you know, and both of them, she was African American. He was the perfect guy that her family would like, and all this and that. But she found herself so bored. But he presented himself like he was everything she wanted. But he noticed she noticed that he was trying to change her. This rejection here, some of y'all, you have the type of person. This this waiting, like, like I said before, they can smell success. Somebody out here is like, oh, they're very manipulative and they may try to come in and wine and dine you. And it's, that's their temptation. It's like, you know what? This is exactly what I've been missing. You know, my person, they're not taking me out on dates. They're not spending time with me, blah, 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 blah. And then boom, you go out there, you let yourself flirt and get to know somebody. They're whining and dining you and you find out that they're a narcissist. Now you're a good person. They're they're off to be, on their way to, to becoming wealthy and ready to settle down. And now you're stuck in another karmic cycle with the narcissist because you didn't want to wait. You need to reject whoever this this tempting person is 
that's going to come in and be satisfying to your ego and your flesh because you have somebody here that's making plans to be your forever life partner. Yeah, you can expect the call from, from whoever this toxic person is and they're coming in because they regret that they missed out on the opportunity for some of you to have your your um, divine feminine energy. Some of you, what, what you're going towards now is life partnership, blessings for some of you, pregnancy, family. Don't, don't go playing around with the devil. Right now, while you're experiencing this breakup from your twin flame, you need to go rest, retreat, pray, and meditate. Because something here, it's, it's a part of your soul purpose to have a person in your life who is loyal to you. A lot of you, you have a toxic ex or narcissistic person. They're coming in. Yeah, surprise. You have more than one option. As soon as you start feeling a way about a person right now that's in your life who is meant for you, that toxic ex is like, here I am. That kryptonite of an ex of yours. Or you may meet someone new. This person is very manipulative. They're very toxic and controlling. Yes, look at this. Deception. Nothing but lies. Clarity. You better see the truth. Because somebody is about to go right off into the danger zone. I see it very clearly here. This person is already telepathically communicating with you, trying to send you a message that they love you. But they're holding back the truth. They're holding back the truth about their life and the fact that they're clearly a narcissist. And that all they want to do is manipulate you and trick you so that you don't actually have this new experience. I think I said all this at the beginning. And this is the bridge that you need to burn. Because you're crossing over into a new phase of life. And the devil is just kind of waiting like, ha, ha, ha. Here you are. You thought you had it all figured out. Let me just throw something, you know, challenging towards you and see if you're, if you're going to go back. It's, it's a trap. It's a setup. Don't fall for it. Because it's going to take you back down a path to darkness. Somebody wants to get you tied into, I just said the path to darkness and the car underneath this, it says the path in darkness. What is this? Yeah, but you have a new beginning here. Your new beginning, it comes with a lot of unexpected changes and challenges, but this is teaching you about discernment. Patience and balance. How to remain high value, abundance here, and to attract abundance. To attract abundance, long-term things in your life, you have to be a vibrational match for it. You have to have faith. You have to have patience. And you need to resist something that you know is not going to bring you wish fulfillment. Continue to have faith in your dreams of having a life partner a family, children, someone that wants to protect and provide for you. Yeah. You're going to see very soon how far your patience and resilience is going to get you. You're looking at your answer prayer. Don't let the devil in. So I'm going to leave it there. Look, <laughs> the devil is sitting right here on this, in this deck. This devil is already... Trying to come in with a romantic offer to trick you because the devil knows that you have an offer here that's leading to a divine union. So here they are coming in with a, a very small offer, which is nothing. It won't amount to anything. It's just something to play with your mind. That's it. Somebody's going to come in and tell you, oh, they want to work on on building with you, you need to put an end to this. And and if you want to wait for somebody, wait for that for the right person. But don't get caught up juggling. Do not entertain this other person. It would be better for you to just be in separation from a person and learning about yourself and letting them learn about themselves while you gain clarity about your life and indulge in self care. And, and allow yourself to be prepared. Allow your separation to prepare you for marriage and a better life. Don't go backwards. <laughs>